Yo, this is gonna be so interesting now. Eternal hellfire can't be justified, especially regarding like Islamic theology, but this also ties into like Christianity as well. Eternal hellfire. What do I mean by this? Like, if you if you know a thing or two about Islamic theology, and if you know a thing or two about like Christian theology as well, I'm not sure about Judaism or other world religions, but certainly specifically Christianity and Islam, a fundamental part of these religions is the fact that the people that aren't righteous, they burn forever in hellfire. And this is so sinister to me that if there is like a God that's actually real and is out there and is looking after us and cares about us, would he like torture certain members of us, our species for all eternity just because they were messing up in like this very small amount of time here on earth? I don't think so. I don't think that would be ever like like warranted at all or like justified to like torture like certain individuals just because they were like messing up in this life in this very small time here on earth that's what that, that is like a part of like the, re the religion of islam that's like a fundamental part of islamic theology and even christian theology that people that aren't like deemed worthy or righteous they essentially just burn forever in hellfire eternal damnation torture forever tortured forever and hellfire and when i was little i'll just give you a little story about about my life when i was younger i was like so petrified of hellfire i came across like vivid like like visual like oh no oh no it hurts so much guys the heat the fire imagine this imagine just having your whole body burned alive burned up in like scorching hot flames and heat oh no guys it hurts it's burning my whole skin guys it's burning me up guys Imagine this is going all over your body, it's so horrible guys. Guys, can you imagine fire just going all over your body for all eternity, guys? Guys, do you know how messed up that is, guys? That's the part, that is like in Islam. Like, you just get burnt, disbelievers just get burned forever in, in hellfire. You know how messed up that is, guys? That is the Islamic religion, guys. People just get burned alive for eternity. Oh guys, this hurts so much to be my hands next to the fire, guys. Imagine all of the fire all over your body, guys. All eternity, does that make any logical sense? No, it doesn't, guys. That's the Islamic religion, guys. Like, like paintings of like, like, there was like, I don't know, this was quite a while back. I, I can't really recall it off the top of my head, but when I was younger, like, I remember coming across like, these like, brutal like paintings that showed like what's gonna happen to you in hell like people with their arm skin getting cut off by demons and they were getting lava poured over their body and they were slowly burning to death but they can't die so they keep just burn for eternity and feel pain and suffering for eternity and their skin gets cut off and all this like violently insane gruesome stuff and eternal and and what's also worse about this is that eternal hellfire can't be justified that's the topic of this video What's worse about all of this is that, certainly in Islam, that I read the Quran, it's like the, the intensity of the punishment, the intensity of the pain isn't gonna be reduced. It's not like in, 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 in this world that if you get hurt, you start to like, kind of like scab up, you start to recover and you, you start to get numb to the pain. And not in Islam, in hellfire, if you go to hell, the pain stays sharp all for eternity and you, you suffer for all eternity, basically. And most Muslims and Christians, they don't think too, too, too much about this, that, if God is actually real, if he's real and he willingly creates like people on purpose and then because in Islam and Christianity, God being omniscient, all knowing, he probably already knows who's going to hell and heaven. Actually, that is actually implied in certain parts of the Quran and even the Hadith that God already knows who's going to go to heaven and hell. Look into like Qadar, Islamic theology. But if God already knows who's going to heaven and hell and he deliberately creates millions of human beings knowing full well that they're going to probably end up in hellfire, a lot of them. And he continues with his plans and he creates this scenario where if you mess up in this like small amount of time here on earth, you get brutally tortured for all eternity. If that, if, if there is such a God and he actually creates this sort of like circumstance and scenario and this sort of like injunction. Oh no, oh no, it hurts so much guys, the heat, the fire, imagine this. Imagine just having your whole body burned alive, burned up in like scorching hot flames and heat. Oh no guys, it hurts, it's burning my whole skin guys. It's burning me up guys. Imagine this is going all over your body, it's so horrible guys. 
Guys, can you imagine fire just going all over your body for all eternity, guys? Guys, do you know how messed up that is, guys? That's the part that is like in Islam. Like, you just get burnt. Disbelievers just get burned forever in, in hellfire. Do you know how messed up that is, guys? That is the Islamic religion, guys. People just get burned alive for eternity. Oh, guys, this hurts so much to be my hands next to the fire, guys. Imagine all of the fire all over your body, guys. All eternity, does that make any logical sense? No, it doesn't, guys. That's the Islamic religion, guys. Shouldn't like, he, he, he basically knowingly and consciously creates like this type of scenario where if you, human being, if you mess up in this small amount of time here on earth, you get tortured, brutally tortured for all eternity and there's no coming back and there's no like, you can't come back to earth and say, sorry, you're just gonna get, you're just gonna burn for whole, all eternity in hellfire. If there is such a God that does, that creates this sort of like circumstance scenario, then that God is probably very likely psychopathic and sadistic and evil. And that is so interesting to me that most Christians and Muslims, they don't really think too deeply about this at all. The eternal damnation part aspect of like Islam and Christianity that is so of Islamic theology and even Christian theology it's so despicable guys if you do something like super bad let's say you kill a child you rape someone you do something that's like against someone else's personal wishes and demands you do something very sinister and bad all right fair enough but would do you, like I don't think any type of judge, legal authority would agree. Would like if someone does something very bad, they have to be brutally tortured for all eternity. Is that reasonable at all? I don't think so. Non-existence. Some people would say, well, what, how are you gonna like? Well, what, what do we do with the evil people then? God is like in the in the Quran. This is actually very explicit, explicitly mentioned that God already has prior knowledge. You get me? The prior knowledge of who's going to be righteous and who's going to be evil. It's actually implied. In the hadiths that god has he's omniscient he's all-knowing he knows what's going to happen beforehand and afterwards and all throughout your life he knows what decisions you're kind of going to make because he has that omniscient knowledge and he can predict with certain with absolute certainty what you're going to do and so god being that would and you know this being the case this is like very true in like islam that god is like super omniscient he's all-knowing all-wise and he's it's so hot fucking hell it's so hot guys no Guys, guys, look at that heat, man. It's fucking burn, burning. Guys, it's fucking burning my skin in it. Fucking hell, man. That's burning hot, man. Fucking horribly hot. Horribly hot, guys. Fucking hell, guys. That is so hot. So hot, guys. It's so, so hot, guys. Burning hot. It's fucking hot. Burning, burning, fucking burning hot, man. Burning hot, guys. <laughs> burning hot, guys. Fucking hell, man. Burning hot, guys. It's fucking hot as shit, guys. I can't fucking deal with it, man. Imagine this for all hellfire all the time. He has a <coughs> perfect understanding of what you're going to be doing with your life and he can easily predict what's going to happen in your life and what you're going to end up doing and if that's all true if he is really omniscient then he created like this twisted scenario god of the bible of the quran he created like this scenario where if you as a human being if you mess up even once in this life maybe some people say well you can ask for forgiveness fair enough but if okay but if you die if you, you can't ask for forgiveness when you die because I think that in Quran, in Islam, in the Quran, it actually does talk about the fact that the disbelievers, they're going to want to escape from hell. They, they're going to want to say sorry, but they can't. It's too late now and they get tortured for all eternity. Guys, really, whoever you are is watching this video, think about this so, so carefully. Eternal damnation, does that sound at all sensible? Does, can that ever be justified? Eternal damnation. If you mess up in this life, you just get burned alive for eternity. Is that fair? I don't think so. Do you think any type of judge in a legal case would, would, would recommend eternal torture and damnation for any of like the prisoners or like the criminals eternal torture and damnation that is so violently cruel and sadistic and insane that to me that can't be justified at all at all in any scenario or circumstance eternal torture damnation you do something bad 
you get punished and burned alive for all eternity in hell in hellfire that is so nonsensical to be eternal hellfire can't be justified if there is such a god and he's real and he actually creates this sort of like circumstance where if you mess up you get tortured for all eternity if there is such a god then that god is probably most likely most definitely evil that that deity is probably malevolent and sinister a deity a god that kills and tort not kills but tortures millions of people for eternity in hellfire just because they didn't believe in him or just because they weren't acting according to his whims and desires that type of god is probably very petty cruel sadistic psychopathic certainly burning all forever in hellfire burning hot guys it's fucking hot guys burning hot burning 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 Fucking burning hot eyes! Burning hot! It's burning! It's burning hot! It's burning guys! It's burning hot guys! It's burning! It's burning hot. It's burning eyes. Because if you think about it, eternal damnation, being tortured for, for all eternity, is that fair at all? Most Christians, most Muslims would say no, but most Christians and Muslims, they don't see this type of like issue with their holy scriptures and books and religion. Eternal torture and damnation, that is like so sinister and cruel. It is like a fundamental part of Islamic theology and even Christian theology that if you mess up, slip up in this life, you get tortured for all eternity. If you don't believe in God, if you don't pray to Allah or Yahweh, you get tortured for eternity. That is so wildly insane. And it's so surprising to me that most people, they don't really think about this at all. They just turn a blind eye to this like cruel, very cruel aspect of like the Abrahamic faiths, which is like eternal torture and damnation for the disbelievers, for the people that weren't really preaching Islam, weren't really being righteous, they get tortured for eternity. And some Muslims and Christians will say, yeah, they deserve it, they weren't acting according to God's will, so they deserve eternal punishment. All right, if I was a judge and I said that, and I gave, let's just say there was like a, a bunch of criminals, I said that, they, they came up to me and, and whatever, and I get to decide what's gonna happen to them, and I, I just said eternal torture for, for all eternity to the one, to all of them. Most people would see me as being like a freaking psychopath. Really? Eternal damnation? Really? Torture for all eternity? Is that- Burning eyes. Burning hot. Fucking burning eyes. It's burning hot, guys. It's burning, guys. It's burning eyes. It's burning hot eyes. Imagine that all eternity, <coughs> the whole body is just getting lit on fire. That would be a nightmare. All eternity, guys, burning for all eternity. That is a nightmare. We're like the best source of like, is that the best way to deal with like people that are, that are, that are criminals and people that are being like violent and be, people that are like kind of becoming a nuisance for society, you just torture them for all eternity in hellfire, is that gonna teach them a lesson? I don't know. Eternal hellfire can't be justified, certainly especially regarding Islam and even Christianity to, to, to some extent, maybe perhaps not Judaism, most of the other, most of the other religions in this world. They don't really have like any strong concept of like eternal damnation, specifically it's Islam and Christianity. But think about it, eternal torture and damnation, really? Is that the best course of action for dealing with people that are like evil and bad and sinister and just torture them for eternity in hellfire and I'll sort them out, really? Is that gonna sort them out? No, I don't think so. It all falls apart so quickly once you start to think about this. Certainly the Abrahamic faiths like eternal torture. Any, any God. Any god, any deity that would be torturing 
like sentient creatures for all eternity. Any deity that does that is probably not worthy of any sort of respect in my opinion. That is like so sinister and cruel and that is like the Abrahamic God for you. Think about this carefully. Fucking burning behind it's so fucking hot. It is burning. Burning behind Fucking burning my old shit. It's so hot. I can't even feel my hands. I can't actually put my finger all the way onto the fire. And burn up all my skin. That would fucking kill guys. Imagine being burned alive for eternity guys. See how messed up that is guys. Messed up, so hot, guys. It's so hot. It's burning, guys. It's burning. It's burning, guys.